crumbs and the spilled sugar and the, the bubble gum wrapper and the, a few pieces of change and there's hair and talk about the products that I use to clean and restore vintage leather bags. These are two typical examples of vintage coach bags that I might find at garage sales and estate sales. And the way I clean them is very simple. The first thing I have to do is get all the yuck out. I mean, people, when they put up a purse, a lot of people do not clean them out. They'll put them up with the crumbs and the spilled sugar and the the bubble gum wrapper do is give them a good vacuum. Pretend this is hooked up. And I run the little slim tool into all the little crevices and you can just hear the vacuum cleaner sucking all that gunk up. I go into each pocket and I just get in there as best as I can, just, just getting all that stuff out. Then I take uh, this suede brush and this is made by Tandy Leather. It's got bristles, um, it's got some edge tools and some rubber bristles. And I just start scraping. I, I get into all those little nooks and crannies and I scrape this way and I, and, and I get as much stuff loose as I can. And then I go back and I vacuum it again. And I go all up and down the sides, all the suede. And, and I do that until I'm fairly comfortable that most of the stuff is gone. That, well, all of the stuff that I can get to is gone. Be careful because it's real easy for toothpicks to get hidden in these little crevices and these seams. And ouch, those things hurt when they when they get you. Um, then what I do, once the, the bag is clean and free of debris, is you need to clean the leather. And I have a couple of different products. I might just use a, a light damp rag. This is something called Leather Honey. It's made by Leather Honey LLC out of Kearneysville, West Virginia and it's concentrated and so you mix it with water and you can use that um, put a little bit on your on your rag and then rub it down and let it dry like I said sometimes just a little damp cloth or with a little bit of soap on it will get that if, if the leather's sealed like an old coach bag it'll get it nice and clean another product you can use to clean is Feebing's four-way care it says it's a preserves strengths cleans and beautifies so uh, it's a good cleaner once the bag is clean and dry, you want to feed the leather. And I use, I've used a couple of different products, everything from uh, Kiwi Saddle Soap to, this is Beeswax, it, you get this at Walmart, Survivor's Beeswax Leather Protector. My favorite is Feebing's Aussie Leather Conditioner, and it has the consistency of Vaseline. There you go. It's a lot, there's a lot in there. It's a little expensive, but there's a lot in there. And the, the uh, cloth I use is a cut up old white t-shirt and I'll just put a little bit on the on the white t-shirt and you want to really focus on the edges because that's where the, the leather is going to have faded of, of its dyes and been scuffed and scraped and really get those edges really get in all the little nooks and crannies a lot of times I'll put my hand inside just to give some strength and I'll just rub it rub it down. I have some really good pictures that I may put up with this video of, of a before and after of, of some vent, like an old uh, leather saddlebag. And an old leather, leather postal carrier bag and how this just really brought the leather back to life. Um, so it works great for, for vintage items. Everything I get gets a good coat of this all around. And it may get more than one because if the leather is really, really, really dry, it's going to just soak it up. And I've already done the front of this. And then do, do the handle. I mean, everywhere there's leather, just rub it down with this. Let it sit. It'll change the color of the leather a little bit at first. Depending on how porous the leather is, the color may stay changed um, and deepen. But I found on the coach bags, because they're not real porous, they're sealed or, or something as part of the tanning process, they don't absorb it as much. It's sort of just as a top coat. It shines it up, buffs it up. Get all, like I said, get all those edges. And then I'll even, because the coach bags have a leather flap inside, 
I'll take this and I'll rub the front of that flap inside and out all the little everywhere where there's leather feed that leather and this bag was pretty dull when I started I don't know if you can tell it from the camera but it has brightened up quite nicely and I don't know if you can tell it but this is a really deep plum color this one is a recent find and it's I've never seen a bag in this plum color it's currently uh, on both my eBay and my Etsy store so uh, so there you have it that's the simple way to clean with these tools just get in there and, and, and scrape the insides and don't let the fact that the bag is a little bit dirty or dry uh, keep you from giving it a chance that's it for now have a great day and God bless